this is the face do uh, face do lock project you will be having raspberry pi uh, IR sensor 16 cross 2 i2c to lcd uh, a door lock module uh, relay module and buzzer okay and you have to connect the usb camera to the raspberry pi only the usb camera should be connected and before and also you will have the speakers you have to connect the speakers at the 3.5 mm jack and you will have another speakers uh, usb cable should be connected to a power supply first second thing is uh, you have to have connect this two rules adapter to the supply and use my micro uh, sd cable uh, use a micro usb cable original ones don't use duplicate ones it won't supply current to power and thereafter after connecting all these things don't power up the raspberry pi you have to create a mobile phone hotspot and 4g the hotspot setting should be project one two project and project one two three four and we'll share you another videos where you will get the screen like this so whenever you get the screen on the screen you will have two icons one is the faces save and the one is the face recognition so the first thing is the faces save uh, first I will show you but your faces will be saved in the file manager and there is a folder called faces folder here your faces will be saved so if you want to remove any uh, faces you have to remove from this location and it will go into the trash then the trash you have to press empty trash can and press yes okay now uh, there will be uh, another telegram id that is fade door is secure ip where you will get the access now first we have to save the faces of the authentication process for that you have to create on this faces save so whenever you create on this faces save the system will ask you the name so i'm uh, giving some name like rk and press enter after you press enter the camera will be opened so once the camera is open you can see that the camera is tracking your face whenever wherever you, you are in the frame now on your keyboard you have to press s button in order to start the take the samples of your face see that your face is uh, visible and good lighting condition is there then i am pressing the s character on the keyboard so once i press the s character you can see that the frame uh, the camera looks freezed that is uh, it is taking the samples of your face and saving into the folder of file manager until it it unfreezes don't move in for uh, any uh, uh, away from the camera so let it take all the pictures if you want you can also change different directions and uh, uh, with the same name uh, uh, you can store more uh, don't do that anytime one time you it is enough okay now it is unfreezed you can check that go to the file manager uh, in the file manager you will have faces folder here rk folder is created and all my faces are saved so this is to save the images faces of the persons now in order to close this application on your keyboard press q button the application will terminate in order to train another face same double click on this application enter the name press s let it save all your faces then close it and after that in order to recognize for the face you have to turn on this application called face recognition you have to just double click on it the application will be turned on now once the application is turned on it will read all the authenticated faces in that particular folder every time loads its features and it will start to recognize so in initial position on the lcd you will show this but due to this reverse current of this particular uh, door module which is takes high current from the toll rolls adapter also sometimes the lcd get disturbed we can't do anything that but now this is the closed state so it, it will be very heat because these modules will get uh, heat don't touch it uh, so uh, this is the open state now in front of the camera i've already trained my face so i i came in front of the camera but it should not activate for everyone who passes in front of the camera trained person so in this case it keeps on scanning so for this purpose what we have done is we have kept a ir module that we can consider it as the person comes near the door so whenever the person comes near the door so you can see here 
it has recognized me granted. and we will get the voice access granted the door has been closed opened okay this is the state of door open i am in front of the camera uh, this thing happened i am going away from the door that is the notarized sent request okay so once i have removed it and uh, my frame is not uh, uh, this thing uh, not in the frame it has sent me the unauthorized we will also check that person on now you can see the door has been closed uh, whenever the person is not in front of the IR sensor so we have kept in such a way that the person comes in front of the door that is IR detects it will see whether the person wants to enter it if uh, if he is authorized it will open the door it will close it once the person goes inside the door this is one process now what I will do is I'm going to the file manager and I'm uh, first let me quit this application by uh, pressing Q button uh, I'm going to the faces folder I'm deleting my identity okay and again restarting the application as unknown person so let I have double clicked it there are no persons in the cam in the, in the database so it keeps on scanning So once I am in front of the camera, as my database is not there, it is showing as unknown. Now I am as a person coming in front of the door as unknown. So whenever a person come in front of the unknown, the system will say unknown detected. A request will be sent to the telegram app with a photo of the person. So you can see here, I am sending at the same time of 2343. Now I have sent an image of unknown with someone at the door. Now if you want to give the access to that particular person you have to send a character called A or else D. Let me first send D. I am sending D. Just a second. The IR sensor was not detected. See until the process is done the IR should be in a detected state. Don't keep your hand and remove it. Keep, take some object and keep in front of the IR that the person is in front of the camera. Now I am unauthorized send request. So uh, again unauthorized send request from the speakers. Now uh, I am sending a access that is I want access a, granted. The gate opened, the gate closed, the IR sensor moved away. Now again some unauthorized person came in front of the camera. So all this process is send request. All this process is happening in the back end. I am just showing you this part. Okay, this will be ideal. Now I am giving, I am giving denied D. Entry has been denied. So in this way, the person, I have the person has to go away from the IR. So I have kept in a uh, little bit advanced way such that the person comes whether if it is uh, he is accessible then until he glow, goes inside the operation won't uh, perform first thing and second part whenever the person unknown person comes he has to also take the permission from access telegram and if the telegram person accepts it then he he goes into the uh, 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 into the house like into the door else the door will be operated else it will show you the denied and you have to remove until this complete operation the IR sensor has to be in a detector state remember the IR sensor don't remove the hand like this keep uh, some object in front of the IR such that two LEDs are grown then only come in front of the camera An authorized send request so I got the request I have seen the image and I am pressing D entry has been denied okay. now we have to remove this thing this is the project explanation